Hello everyone, Alexander Flores here, and in this tutorial, we're going to go over how your users can log in to their AWS Cognito accounts. In the last video, we went over how users can create their own accounts, and that's the code we see here. A link to that will be in the description, as well as a GitHub repository link, so you can go ahead and copy the code if you haven't seen it before. So currently, we wrote all of our signup logic inside of our app.js file. We're going to be moving this to its own signup.js file as well as creating a login.js file. The first thing we have to do though is move all the user pool logic to its own file because we have to import in both signup and login. So we're going to do that simply by creating a new file, calling it userpool.js. And then over here, we can go ahead and take this import. We're going to paste it right here. And then we're going to take all of this code and cut it out of this file. And then we're going to go paste it inside here. Now, instead of just creating a user pool object, we're actually going to export this. And then we can go ahead and save and close this file. Now we can import the user pool into this file. And then we can copy everything. And we're going to create a components folder. Inside, we'll create a signup.js file. And then we can go ahead and paste the contents in there. We do want to import the correct user pool. So because we're inside of a new folder, we're going to add another dot. And then we can go ahead and save and close this file. Inside app.js, we can clean up a lot of this code. Going to move that import there. Going to delete this line. And going to delete everything inside the function. We're simply going to render an empty div here. And then we're also going to import signup.js. Then we can go ahead and render the signup component inside of our app. If we save the file, we should see the same thing on our website as we do right here. So that's good. Now we're going to create our login form. Going to make a new file called login.js. And we're simply going to copy everything from signup into login. We're also going to delete the signup function here as we're not doing that in this file. So now that we have the login component here, we want to go ahead and import two things from the Amazon package we used in the last video. Those things are cognito user and authentication details. Now on submit, we're going to go ahead and create our user. The only argument here is an object that has two properties, the first one being the username. We're just going to simply set that to our email and notice the capital U. The second property is going to be our pool. So we're simply going to access the user pool that we're importing. Next, we're going to be using our authentication details. And in this argument, we're simply going to have another object that also contains two properties. Here we have the username and the password. Notice that these are capitals as well. Next, we're going to try and authenticate the user using the username and password that our user submitted. So we're going to call user.authenticateUser and this requires two arguments. The first one being authentication details, which we created here. The second one is an object. And inside this object, we're going to have three functions. The first one is on success, and we're simply going to console log the data. The second one is on failure, and we're going to console log the error here. And the last one is new password required, and we'll also console log the information here. Let's go ahead and save this. Scrolling down, we can edit our sign up button to say login, save the file. And then under our app file, we can actually import and render this. We can save this, so if we go to our website, we now see a second form here. Obviously, we're not focusing on the styling or CSS of any of this. We're just strictly focusing on the logic for Cognito. We can go ahead and enter in the credentials for the user we created in the last video. And if we click on login, we have an error saying that the user is not confirmed. So because I don't actually have access to this email, we can't log in. So Cognito handles that for us. However, we can manually confirm the user. If we go to our AWS console, if we select our user pool, in this case, tutorial, and then we go to users and groups, and we select our user, we can then confirm our user right here. So now if I go back and try log in, it says on success, and we have some information here. We gain access to three different tokens you don't technically need to know how these work to be able to use Cognito. However, in future videos, I will cover the details of these. If I were to enter an incorrect password, and I would try and log in, you would get an error, incorrect username or password. So this is how you authenticate your users in AWS Cognito. The code to this will be on a GitHub repository, and you can find a link to that in the description down below. You can also find a link to the Worn Off Keys Discord server in the description down below. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing, and thanks for watching.